Uh, tainted Isaac to mother. Joined the club I met my wife in 2009. Can't imagine trying to figure it out. MSN Messenger is still the way to talk to people when I was last single. Yep. Yep, I talk to people on MS Messenger. Um. Shit, when I started dating. When I started dating, I was talking to people on MIRC. Uh, It's Ipecac, right? And then later on, if we're not feeling it, we can just get rid of it. T it's it's t t temp Tempecac. Temporary Ipecac. Temporary Ipecac. Old Tempecac. Yeah, I'd just, I'd, I'd just be so rubbish. I'd be so rubbish at modern dating. I'd be... I, I'd be... I think 25-year-old me would have been good at it because 25-year-old me was shallow and narcissistic and uh, self-absorbed even to a greater degree than I am now. Um, and insecure enough to, to really oversell himself and overcompensate for those insecurities with cartoonish levels of confidence, borderline arrogance. He'd do pretty okay on the online dating scene these days. But 41-year-old me who has come to grips and come to terms with all of his shortcomings as a man, that guy would not do so great, I don't think, with online dating or with uh, with like uh, uh, dating apps and whatnot. Oh good, it's not just me, I couldn't tell. Oh yeah, no, Twitch, Twitch, Twitch be bugging out today, I think. Twitch appears to be bugging out today. I met by helping on, helping on a dating site 13 years ago. Been together eight and a half years now. That's awesome. When you want to like the people you fuck, dating gets real difficult. Yeah, like, I... I uh... Not to make it sound like I did a good thing or anything like that, but I I put so much effort into having sex with people in my 20s and now it just feels very a la carte. Like whenever whenever sex happened in my 20s, it really felt earned. Like I, 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 I don't know if the rest of you felt this way, but I felt like a gardener. You had your prospects, you know, you, you had, you had, you had the, the crops that that showed promise for yield <clears throat> and you had the crops that were clearly never going to produce something that you could consume so you had to make decisions about where your time was best spent and, and i mean this this was occasionally you got to have like a one night stand from a bar occasionally but that was like finding 20 bucks on the ground sometimes Sort of depending on how, depending on on how how questionable the one night stand was. Generally speaking, the one night like the one night stand situation for me always felt like finding a winning scratch ticket on the ground. It didn't happen, but once or twice, and I was lucky that it wasn't a fraud, uh, like that it wasn't a scam. Um, but otherwise, man, I I always felt like I had you know, t 10 to 15 potentials in the back of my head. And you were constantly like keeping tabs on whether or not, you know, w what your stock portfolio was doing. Were you up? Were you down? Was it time to buy? Was it time to sell? And now it's literally, literally just yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Do you want it? Yeah, sure. Okay, meet me on my futon in 20 minutes. Um, met my girlfriend on Twitch. Have shared that story before. That's true. That's a shitty way to think about other humans. Not gonna lie. Which one? Oh yeah, no. If you're talking about the way that I, the way that I categorize people in my twenties, no, I was fucking terrible in my early twenties. 
No, no, no. I was, I, you, you all would not like me circa 2000, 2002 to 2005, right before I met Amber. Maybe don't talk about it so fondly then. I don't. I'm genuinely, uh, genuinely reflect. I, I, I like the metaphor. I'm, I'm proud of the metaphor because it's accurate. I'm proud of the metaphor because it's accurate. I always am happy when I find the right words for things. And in that instance, I feel like I described what was going on inside my head very accurately. Why did I get hit there? Oh, it's very selfish and very shallow. Do you remember what the panic button does? Not at all. I'm so much more paying attention to chat than I am the game right now. Oh, yes. Yeah, probably not great. <clears throat> 20 year old white men are typically monsters. It's me in the past. Yeah, I was. I. I. I, I carry. I carry around an awful lot of shame. I carry around an awful lot of shame uh, from, from my college days where I behaved the way I thought I was supposed to behave and will be mortified if my sons behave that way. Uh, 2002 to 2005, total POS and terrible human being. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah, it, it was. It's funny because there's a part of me that feels like I wish I could go back to my, like, high school days where I was just like, I, I was just this, um, I was just this, this, this like, uh, puppy who had been hit with the newspaper too many times by people, had low self-esteem, had no sense of who I was, let people take advantage of me quite a bit and had a very low value of myself. So there's a part of me that wishes I could go back and change that, but genuinely, if I had something that I could go back and change, uh, my, my years where I considered myself like a playboy, uh, in my early to mid twenties, uh, genuinely I would categorize as, as, as disgusting. So I don't know. I ho hopefully that's a mea culpa enough to swing you back around. That, that, that's about all the heavy lifting I'm willing to put into it though. Um... I was actually a pretty empathetic person in my 20s, and even, um... Even I don't like me in my 20s, I got a lot better, uh, person. Yeah, I mean, like... Yeah, no, I like... My, my, my mid-30s to now is when I realized that even though I was constantly the protagonist of my own narrative in my head, my mid-30s to now is where I realized that I am the, I am the villain in some people's stories. Uh, from like 2001, you know, through the next decade. And while I never think of myself as a bad person, I look back and go, oh no, I absolutely, if I look at that through an indifferent lens, was the bad guy in the stories, and it's deserved. And it makes me sad, because I don't, you know, I don't think anybody sets out to be a bad person. But you definitely look at yourself, and if you look at yourself indifferently, like, the only positive I can take away is that potentially there was growth there, but... Yeah, you know, uh, I dislike the fact that I look back on myself and think of myself as kind of a scummy person. Um, as a 20-something white man currently dealing with the expectation that everyone acts this shitty, I feel super weird that everyone uh, seemingly talking so casual about it. I, I'm, the only way to look at it indifferently, I think, is to put some distance between between me and it. I think if I get too close to it, I do so much hand, ring, hand wringing and cold sweating uh, that there's almost nothing productive that comes out of it. When the lights are off and the camera's down and I'm alone with my thoughts, trust me, there's plenty, there's plenty that rolls around. There's a reason I used to have to drug myself to go to sleep. So, uh, well, was, I, I had a tweet about it the other day where I was like, one of the things I miss about Ambien is that uh, I'm not alone with my thoughts at a... Uh, uh, is that I'm not alone with my thoughts at, uh, 1230, at night. Thinking back on all the stuff I've done wrong, you know?
You guys make me feel lucky with what I got. Hubs and I are often glad we didn't deal with uh, any adult or early adult dating. I'm, I'm certainly happy that I don't do it anymore. I obviously would approach it a lot differently now than I did back then if I had to. Like if Amber just walked out the door right now and never told me where she was going. Um... I think we take Abaddon. And I think we take the Mark. I would do it differently a lot now, but it would also, I think, just be a whole lot less exciting. There, there were definitely fun parts of it. When, when everything went right and everyone was on the same page in my youth, uh, I, I will say that I was, I was generally, you know very good about being very upfront about what my intentions were so if i was just like hey i'm just kind of looking for sex tonight is that cool uh when it was all on the same page and played above board and everybody was was looking for the same objectives uh that sometimes it could be pretty fun and pretty exciting but i was very i was very um low-key narcissistic in my 20s I'm, I'm glad that I'm not trying to be, be a, a public-facing figure in those years, for sure. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Clean says, no matter how good a person we are in life, we'll always be the bad guy in someone's story. Yeah, I, I suppose. I suppose so. Answers. If you were nominated to the Supreme Court, would people show up to tell them how terrible you were, and then uh, would nobody really care because we live in <laughs> hell? Ugh. That story started sad and got sadder. Horse had always permanent flight? Yeah, this has always been permanent flight. It's permanent flight as an active item, but it's always been flight. Hard not to be a big old ball of regret uh, on the best of days. Everything is a lesson and blessing. Yada, 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 yada. Yeah, I don't know. Regrets, I got a few. Shauna! I skipped the scummy 20s and just became an extreme workaholic. I think I might have done that had I had a had I had a career path. I started off in business. Didn't like it. Like business and computer information systems. Didn't like it. Lost a whole bunch of weight out of insecurity because I'd put on so much during my first year of college. Came back shredded. Swung the pendulum too far the other direction. And was like too like was was incredibly full of myself, um, and then eventually over time kind of reeled myself back in from that, and and found sort of a true true a truer external representation Hematemesis. Uh, of of who I actually think I am. It just took a very long time to get there. It took like late thirties before I really found footing that made me comfortable in my own skin. I tried my best not to be shitty to other humans, but like it seems like everyone expects me to be shitty to actually function in my 20s. I have no idea. Uh, like I, I, I feel like I inadvertently surrounded myself with a whole bunch of people who also thought themselves good people, but basically were walking glands. Not everybody was like that. There were definitely people uh, that I remember uh, who, who carried themselves very well during those years. My buddy Roger was one of them. He never caved into that sort of societal pressure of like, oh, I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to be this like wa walking uh, 80s rom-com cliche. But genuinely speaking, I mean, like, I, I was in the honors college. It was even worse in like the athletic dorms and stuff like that. I was in the honors college, and it was still pretty rot, like uh, prominent. I think I'd like to hold on to stopwatch, not to bring it back to the game. But ooh, if I can get the money too, I might actually just want to touch and get rid of the the. 
Jara flies to be two thirds Beezlebub. I think I lose it though if I touch. If I if I lose the fly, which let's be honest, I'm probably gonna. I think I lose uh, the, the Beezlebub transformation. So in that case, it's probably not worth beating up the Dono machine. K the clown, thank you so much for the for the kind words. Not expecting answers, but man, it sucks. Part of the reason I started seeing my therapist. Yeah, no, I I, I feel you. I'm I'm not trying to be antagonistic about it for sure. Um, and I'm I'm trying not to misrepresent it, but there was there was good and bad that came out of that. But I certainly there are certainly days and days and ways that I carried myself uh, that I that I certainly wish I could get a do over on. Yeah, I think Angry Fly doesn't even make it off the floor. I hope I'm not coming off as glorifying it. The 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 joy that I felt in that moment was that the the analogy felt very accurate. Uh well, just like that I think Mini Mush is gone. Who knows how long Clot's going to hang out? Succubus is probably coming with me. In which case I'll probably lose more options. Maybe? <laughs> yeah, fucking therapy for everyone would be nice. I might not have acted that way. I was in my 30s before I ditched the sort of boomer mentality that had been put in me that only crazy people go to therapy. I don't know that we can call Caves 1 taking CAC the whole way, but it is still very good. Alright, I gotta stop or I'm gonna end up getting myself killed. Um. Whoops. Boy, if that's a bad trip, I'll be bummed out. I just want to see if there's any health in the shop. There is health in the shop. Missed the first knife knife piece? Not if I go down now. Right? Oh, I did! We're supposed to be going to Mother. I just was on autopilot because of the conversation. Fuck. Yeah, I did miss the first knife piece. <laughs> Well, shit. No, you're absolutely right. I haven't gone to Mother in so long. I got so deep in the conversation. What? Yeah, technically we took CAC the whole way, I guess. You're not wrong. At least we didn't get too far before we had to reset. It's fun. Damn, I would have really liked to have taken the last build down through the... Down through Dross. That would have been much better. Oh well. Yeah, it was the next L floor, so I really like I really wasn't paying attention. I genuinely wasn't thinking about. Yeah, in my head I was on the second floor. Hmm. Ugh. I feel like until I get some tears upgrades. Until I get some tears upgrades. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. Oh, 
shit, I need a key. Tainted Isaac, we only get to carry eight items the entire run. And if we pick up more than eight items, we drop one. The one that's inside the, the, the highlight area. Yay, lemon mishap. Well... I still get one more crack to get in there. I guess I could have gone and bought a key from the shop, but that's okay. <clears throat> no, I'm not going to take that run all the way to the chest and hope for an R key. That's too much. That's too much. Look at Lemon Mishap holding its own. The newest Jackpot! Thank you for three more gifted. I, uh, I, Navy, I. K the Clown got sniped in there, and Sabo Q. Recipients of three gifted from Jackspot. Jackspot, thank you so much. Sincerely appreciate it. Are we at are we at 669 subs? Nice. Very nice. Damn, I am super hungry. I need lots of keys. I think I said bye to Santa. I read his comment. Santa, if you're still here, man, thank you so much. I hope you have a tremendous afternoon. Thank you for everything. I found pills. Yeah, Zara, finally. I don't dare use it until I get to the boss fight or get another one. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and just take the boss fight now, I guess. I think the, the curse we were going to run into with the previous run is that we, we were going to see too many good items and have to leave a bunch of them behind. But that is a problem I'd like to have back again if it's, if it's handing them out to me. Oh, God. Okay, yep. Yeah. Nope, you're all over me. I was just trying to drag you onto, onto Lemon Mishap. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. <clears throat> Jackspot gives six months of tier one subs to DJ uh, to to Sir DJ Antimute. Jackspot on fire right now. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much, dude. I'm going to need a second key, if and when you please. That was not, uh, not the too hard deal I was hoping for there, if I'm being honest. Screw it. Let's just go see. Let's just go see what's in our item room and get off the floor. I do like pinking shears. I do like pinking shears. Cool, I wonder what's in there, he said, never seeing a key again. Three cent card? Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. Oh, 
Hey, that's one. I can go see what's inside that chest. No, they, I mean, they count for the one the one active item, but just like any other run, you can only ever, ever carry one active at a time. Uh, no. Just, just go get your card. Just go get your card. It's going decidedly differently. I'm not going to say it's good or bad yet because we still have a long ways to go, but this is a very different run than the one we had before. There's only one place the second secret room can be. So I guess I might as well go check it. I take that back. Yeah, no, I do do not take that back. Yeah, there's only literally only one wait. Yeah, there's still only one place that the super secret room can be. There's a couple of places the secret room can be. All of them are kind of unlikely. Two keys? Neat. Alright. Um. Now that I'm paying attention to the game, it's giving me nothing. Damn. Finish this food. What sucks? Is it because we're tainted Isaac? There could have been good items on that floor. And we just pick the other one every time. Almost done. Fungus the Chungus. <clears throat> the Chroma's treating it funky. But it's a uh, chicken salad. Um. It's uh, just a, a white, white um, hamburger bun. Toasted iceberg lettuce, and then Amber has a tendency to do her chicken salad with chopped white onion, uh, a little bit of yellow curry, salt and pepper, maybe a, a little celery salt. Pretty straightforward. I don't get to have chicken. I don't. I don't. I don't ever really think about chicken salad, but she makes chicken salad pretty. Uh, like I never. I've never. I've never thought about chicken salad as a staple. It's really good. I don't think I've ever even made chicken salad, but Amber makes it all the time, and it's pretty good. It's it's all borderline sweet and savory, almost. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I almost never think to myself, man, 
I sure could, sure could go for a chicken salad sandwich. But whenever whenever Amber makes it, I'm always happy. I'm always happy that it exists. Any dressing on it? No, just the flavors from. Hey, yeah, those are good. Just the flavors from what she's pulled together with, um, like mayonnaise, a little bit of yellow curry, celery salt, uh, pepper, and chopped white onion. I can't. I I, I don't taste anything else in there. Yo, read the bear. Thank you for the itty bitties. Isn't chicken salad sandwich just a chicken sandwich? I mean, it's been, it's been the 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 chicken itself has been chopped into itty bitty pieces so that there's a much more even ratio of of dressing or mayonnaise to protein. If I were to just take the chicken breast, slap a little mayonnaise on the bun, now you got a chicken sandwich. With just a hint of whatever Dijon mustard, mayonnaise, you know, hummus, whatever. This is the story of the newest denizen. Whatever sandwich lubricant you pull together. But chicken salad, you take that chicken and and, and chop it up real fine. And now it's become a, now it's become a delivery vehicle. Everything's so loud in Isaac. Now it's generally become a, a delivery vehicle for whatever dressing or that's, I need that key. It's become a delivery vehicle for what, whatever dressing or sauce you've used to, to, for lack of a better term, make the sandwich wet. I was going to say, I need you to contribute, Murder Corpse. Five two eight five two comes in tier one 78 months geez it's been 78 months already yes i gotta start thinking of an anniversary gift soon 852 thank you so much for keeping your sub active when amber was sick and for taking care of my family for so long i appreciate the shit out of you ma'am i guess i take the one i can see and not the one i can't Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Sandwich lubricant. Thanks, I hate it. <clears throat> I'll take the tears upgrade. If you smoke that chicken for like six hours and roast it and then shred it and add chicken salad, uh, add it, chicken salad takes on a whole new meaning. It, so, like, the only time that we really ever have chicken salad is when Amber goes and picks up a roasted chicken from Costco. And then she comes back and picks it. I, I guess this case, in this case, it was different. <clears throat> we had chicken breasts that were about to go. They were about to go bad. So she did. Uh, well, she seasoned and baked baked them so that they'd be cooked. And then after that, just has been trying to find random odds and ends for uses. So, chicken salad is one of them. Alright. Let's go do the other side. I feel super good about having a much higher rate of fire. I wish I wasn't faster than my bullets. Shit, I almost caught that guy. Golden key shop on the way out. You're absolutely right, but on the way out, I'll do it. Couldn't remember if we'd been in here or not. I think we did. 
got some bombs out of it. I don't know what I'm playing today after this. I kind of don't think I want to do Iowaki unless unless champions here. I feel like I had my fill of Iowaki for a little bit yesterday. Story oriented like Visage. I'd hate to start something story oriented like, oh god damn, he almost got that one through. Like Visage and then take a day off from it. Thought Iowaki was done. The main story was done. There apparently we got the bad ending. And apparently everyone gets the bad ending pretty much the first time unless they know what they're doing. <clears throat> there are different endings that you can get, but you have to replay the entire game to get them. No, don't do that. Please stop. Do we care about the other endings? There's also DLC that they made. That's the thing that I'm kind of trying to make myself decide whether or not I've given enough of a rip to go to go after it. There's like a three or four chapter DLC if I if I read that correctly. I gotta decide whether or not that's worth our effort. Our tears are just about as good as they're gonna be, so let's go ahead and take the damage. I feel like we've made great strides towards not being a, a garbage run on this floor. I do genuinely feel a little bit bad. My, my, my sincere takeaway on Iowaki is that that $17 game my sincere belief on that $17 game I haven't played the DLC obviously uh, but my, my sincere belief on that game is that if if the AI of the monster wasn't borderline broken with how aggressive it is Instead of a three-hour game, that would be like a 20-minute game. Yo, Zara, I hope you have a tremendous night's sleep or, or work or rest or day. Whatever you're doing today, I hope it goes glowingly. Yeah, Beryl. Like I said, without without the guy who dumped four hundred dollars in it here, I'm I'm not super interested in putting more effort into Iowaki. I don't think Inscription lets me play more. I think I'd have to start from scratch. I mean, I could I could just go back. I could just go back and replay chapters, I suppose, but. Ugh. Is that the hee hee game from the other day? Yeah, yesterday. That was uh, Escape the Iowaki. I don't think I need either one of those. I think we'll just keep our health, thank you. Once I cranked the gamma up and could see what was happening in the game, I, I it, 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 it makes sense. It is, as, you know, it is a game where you run from monsters and solve puzzles. That is very much a genre. I felt like Siren Head did it better. Not to make it into a contest, but yeah, I definitely felt like Siren Head did it better. Um, 
I went and looked up some of the Steam reviews and, and definitely saw, like, it's funny because it got a ton of glowing reviews. Not a ton, but it was mostly positive reviews. And the only critical ones that I could really find said what was on my mind, which was there are times where you almost just have to let yourself get caught because once the bloodhound of an AI finds you, it just never leaves your side. Like, once, once, once the AI knows where you are, it just stands there. And it never really goes, like, it never really goes away or, or goes off to investigate other stuff. We, we had we had moments where I was just sit and talk to chat for like 10 minutes because the monster was just standing right next to us the whole time and I was just like well chat we just live here now AMA my name's McLaffy Tappy horror streamer who lives under desk I gave up I gave up a two-story house in suburban Virginia to reduce my lifestyle and carbon footprint and live in a tiny house that now exists in a three foot by one foot space under a shelf where the Iowaki can't get me. AMA. Oh, I don't have the money. Let's fix that. I need the money. I need. I, I would like either the map or battery, baby, but I think the map is better. So yeah, I felt bad that I was in the process of low-key laying into that game and then the devs showed up and I was like, oh, no. He can't get you, but it was hilariously bad that he could literally teabag you under the table. Yeah, he, he, he clipped through me sometimes. There were times where he literally clipped through me. And then there were other reviews where they, people said that he like grabbed them through walls. And that they, they like essentially got stuck in the same place as I got stuck where he just he wouldn't leave and that they went and like fixed dinner and came back and he was still lording over them uh I like tech five especially with our high rate of fire wow this run's suddenly kind of turning around a little bit I don't go in on epiphoria man I just don't dig it The devs were very kind. They were very excited to watch us play. They tweeted out about us. So I didn't want to I didn't want to just like shit on their game, so I tried to make I tried to make my my criticism constructive, you know. I tried to make my criticism constructive. I didn't just want to shit on somebody's work. I can't make a better game. But I have played a lot of them, you know. have played a lot of them. All right. Yeah, I'm okay. All right. <clears throat> Shauna, don't die of star. Was this their first game? I'm not sure. I, so, I don't know if you remember a few years ago. I can't remember who it was, but a whole bunch of streamers basically made a jump scare game was it like was it Tim Tim I can't remember who there was a bunch of streamers who made a jump scare game and then they all played it on their channels hoping that their involvement in the game would 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 spur sales and for the life of me I feel like c Nanners might have been in on it I'm not sure a whole bunch of content creators made made their own jump scare game. And one of the guys out of that group um Oh shit. One of the guys out of that group was a was a is a YouTuber. He he went so far as to like put his own YouTube channel in the game 
as a as an Easter egg, which absolutely, you know, you're, you're talking to the guy who has his name littered through pretzel through pretzel stuff. You'll find my name on pretzel stuff for um, I gotta get out of this lava room. My headphones are, or sorry, my alarm clock is telling me to take a break. But I don't want to do it in a room with lava. Good luck, idiots. Good luck finding a quiet room. Dead Realm was that game? <clears throat> wow, he shotgunned me in the face. What a boss. Oh, Shauna, so I was, I was talking about this earlier. I was describing this to other people. The problem really isn't even the air map. I didn't get hit by one of the guys, I got hit by the goddamn turret. Um, the problem's not the air mattress. The problem, I think genuinely, is that there's no way for me to rest. J so Justin, when he goes to bed, I mean like obviously sleeping in my own bed, I don't care about you, Dross. You are there to serve as background noise. You pass the butter. Um. Um. What happens if? Oh, I don't have the. I don't have the. Uh, Ugh. Um. Why can't one of you be backpack? Let me see how many, let me see how many charges I can get pulled together on this floor. So, Shauna, sorry, I was mid-sentence and then the game got interesting. Um, e even if he had me in like one of the most comfortable down mattress, uh, feather topped luxury hotel beds. One of the real problems that I run into, one of the real problems that I run into is that with the subathon and everything going on, like last night I went to sleep and I knew I had three hours left in the subathon because a whole bunch of people popped off right before I went to bed. Um. So I knew that I had some time on the clock, but then one of two things happens during the subathon. One is that a notification goes off and I get the warm and feel goods. I get the warm and feel goods. Where somebody put time on the clock and put money in my pocket and I feel very happy about it. But because I have the uh, announcements playing as I sleep on a Bluetooth speaker, even if I'm completely out, if I hear it, I pop up and give them a thumbs up to say thank you because I'm really, really grateful. 
And then I try to force myself to go back to sleep as fast as humanly possible, which takes a couple of minutes. What happened last night was almost no notifications went through. And then all I could think about was how the subathon was going to die while I was asleep. Sure enough, the subathon at one point got down to 23 seconds. <laughs> the subathon got down to 23 seconds last night, and Snake Mitten saved it by dropping. Hey, man, those are bits. Snake Mitten saved it by dropping 10 gifted. And when I woke up, this was at like 4:45, 5 o'clock in the morning. I heard that at 4.45 or 5, I can't remember which one, and saw that the timer had 17 minutes on it, knowing that somebody had just dropped 10 subs and that it only had 17 minutes on it. I panicked a little bit and was like, well, the only time I'm able to stop the clock is when I'm not live because I'm at my place instead of Justin's. So at like 5.05 .05 in the morning, I went, nope, pause the clock, I'll just get up early. And I went to bed, like I fell asleep around midnight, midnight 30. Um, but I had a feeling that if I went back to sleep, the subathon was not going to be alive anymore when I woke up. So I did the only thing I thought I could to keep it alive, which was to get up and go home. And just take a long shower, drink coffee, and sit on my couch for a while. Oh, Jesus Christ. Shoot up. I taught, I taught you better than this, Mom. And I'm, you know, glad I did because we're sitting at over four hours now. God damn it. Almost there, chat. One second. We. It was at 17 minutes at like 3 o'clock in the morning, and then Omni Waffle came in and dropped $100 in gifted subs. Yeah, Tavi, studies show when you're not sleeping in your own bed, your brain doesn't fully shut off out of fear of predators eating you while you sleep. When not in cave, caveman brain stays partially awake. I, I, I slept decently on the first night, but yeah, there were definitely plenty of times. I think I'm gonna take the health. And we'll just hope that we get some better synergies along the way. Yeah, there were definitely times where I felt um, Ill, Ill at ease for one reason or another. Varel, mm. thank you for the 100 bits. I didn't know that you had notifications going off while you're sleeping or I would have done it last night when I saw you sleeping. Yeah, no, I've, I've got, not only do I have notifications going off, but I have it set up. Yo, I will 100% take the left hand here. I've got it set up so that people like Rusty Brazenfire, if they feel so inclined, can play Heroes Tonight very loudly through that same Bluetooth speaker. What sucks is that the computer screen is so small across the room and I don't have my glasses on that I can almost never read who did who did what for me, or in some cases, who did what to me. Hello? Well, that's a guppy piece. If we can manage to make guppy happen in the rest of the run, or the rest of, uh, like, if I can find me a couple guppy items, that's suddenly kind of interesting. Yeah, Heroes Tonight is to you, not for. Yeah, like, Ju Justin does this thing, or Justin's channel does this thing where he... Justin's channel does this thing where he constantly lets it get, to, lets it get down to like... T oh my god, I wasn't paying attention to where I was walking. Wasn't paying attention to Annie. Was I walking? Was I walking? Was I walking, Annie? Um. Yeah, Justin's channel does this thing where he constantly gets down to like 10 or 15 minutes 
And then just one brave soul goes, not today, and just drops 10 or 15 subs. Or in the cases of in the dead of night, man, there are people who, who while he's sound asleep, drop like a hundred. Or like the moment he wakes up, they drop a hundred. They're just like, get your day started. It's, it's difficult to have a random stranger kind of wander up out of the mist. Please stop hurting me. It's difficult to have like a random stranger wander up out of the mist when there's, you know, 60 of us and 40 of them are sound asleep while I'm, while I'm asleep. Serene, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Now all we gotta do is find one more guppy item on the floor. Being guppy would sure cure a lot of ills. I also don't think we like I also don't think we did ourselves any favor last night doing a three hour watch party. That's a that's a surefire way to make sure that a dozen people are with you for the next three hours. I just wanna make sure it stays this. Um, yeah, if we do, what did we do? We watched Garth Marenghi's Dark, uh, Dark, Dark Place. And I don't know if you're familiar with, like, uh, have you, have you ever seen the IT crowd? Motherfuck. Dope, what a great series. Yeah, I had never heard of it before. So we watched all six of them last night. Thank you. We watched all six episodes of that last night. And it was incredibly funny. It had Matt Berry and Richard Iowati of IT Crowd fame. And I adored it very much. I think if we cook and play either some sort of video game or board game tonight, we'll we'll do a much better job of retaining audience members. I also didn't know that that was the TV series where the phrase, I know writers who use subtext and they're all cowards. I always try to make sure that any story I tell has a theme. Yeah, Richard Iowate has booked a lot of work over the years. Deservingly so. Richard Iowate has booked a lot of work because he is such a good character actor. He doesn't apparently do a lot, but what he does, he does really well. Dude, I can't kill anything. I'd like to try to become Guppy before I leave the floor, so I know for sure. I'd like to try to become Guppy before I leave the floor, so I know for sure that if I set the, the head down, I get to keep it. there's just guppy in here there isn't but something's going away maps are for cowards
So I'll take the soul heart, I guess. Yeah, Dune was pretty. I don't, I didn't, I didn't have any investment in the in the TV series. Or sorry, I didn't have any investment in the uh, previous movie or books. So I watched it pretty, pretty unbiased. It's, it was a beautiful film, tremendous special effects. I'm sure it looked a shitload better on a big on a on a big screen. Beautiful though. I'll watch part two when it comes out in two years. Do I have any place where I have more than one item stored? Okay, world. Sure. Can't you blow up the boss skull for an item? Uh, yeah, I might need to do that because it's a new save file. I did it on the last one. I might have done it already on this one. But I can do it. I got, I've got an extra bomb. It won't hurt me to look. I can't remember which trinket you get for it. I'm not looking to shop trinkets until I get guppy. Hive mine would be good. I have no idea if that was worth the effort. I just do it like that. Watch the old one. Never read the books. Glad they went with a closer book adaptation instead of David Lynch's weird sonic devices. Yeah, everybody said it's basically just a visual representation of what happens in the book. He's basically just moving it straight over from the page. Good for him. I wonder if I have to take Guppy. I wonder if I have to take Guppy. I hope not. <clears throat> I think it's just that I had to touch it, and then I'll leave here with the trinket, and we'll just hope for the best. I wish I had, like, gulp. I guess we'll see. Thank you, 9 Volt, for helping me pump my life back up. I don't know why I'm doing this other than my body feels a strong, com strongly compelled to. I didn't bring a uh, steam sale with me. So hopefully there's not too much going on with the shop that's exciting. There. Shit, that would have been really good, but it's it would eat up a passive slot. It would have been good on the last floor. I don't I don't have any reason to believe that I'm going to get rid of Book of Rev at this point. 
I genuinely think I could probably beat the game with what we have right now. It just wouldn't be a whole lot of fun. I would lose some tears if it meant getting um, Guppy to produce flies while we fight. These guys are deceptively tanky. This is the story. Cam the Jr. Tier Denizen 1, 35 King. months. Cam Jr., thank you so much. Am I really thinking about losing tech for Kidney Stone? I feel like tech is tailing off. It's really good early on for peeling through a bunch of weak enemies in a single room. But with piercing and good damage tiers, it's kind of redundant. Or do I just randomly grab something from the other side? Kidney Stone is really good for blasting down bosses. I feel like Tech needs too much help. Well, I didn't want to instantly show people how it worked. The guppy dream may be dead, chat. The guppy dream may be dead. don't know how I possibly leave Nose Goblin behind. Has so much damage output. So much damage output. I'm just kind of looking to see whether or not Guppy will show up for us just like, like randomly in some red chest or if we get teleported to a deal with the devil or something. Thought I could get through there. Thought I got through there if I'm being honest. Could you use chisel for that doorway? Yeah, you're right. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm barely thinking straight. I am genuinely looking forward to that little break that I take in between being here and being at Justin's place. I genuinely cannot wait to kind of put my head down a little bit. I didn't want to fight that room at all. Those lads are not affected by the ball and chain and that bothers me. There we go. Yeah, I'm... Not to be broken record about it, but... The one thing that I will not miss about subathons... As cool as it is to have you guys in and like in and around the area that I sleep in. If I do hear notifications go off, it's awesome and I stop and acknowledge it, but it means not being asleep even at 1, 3, 5 o'clock in the morning. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's what Samson, that's what, that's what Kitty Stone is good for right there. Does it matter which one I take? Uh, we'll take Shielding, I guess. Well, thank God these are all garbage. But yeah, if you, if you hear a notification, if you're me, you feel inclined to, to recognize it and acknowledge it. If you don't hear a notification, you start to get nervous because that means that the subathon's gonna end while you're asleep. So there's really kind of a no-win situation there. 
I thought I got through that. Oh well. And then there was the instance with this morning where Snake Bitten found us at 23 seconds left on the subathon and dropped 10 gifted subs to keep it alive. And I looked down at the clock and was like, dude, it's 4.55 in the morning. And then I looked over again at the counter and it was 17 minutes and I was like, oh, I'm up. I'm up and going home. Timer's, timer's paused. Timer's paused. I'm up and going home. So I went home and watched Justin sleep for an hour and drank coffee and took a long, hot shower. Yeah, Serene, that happened twice last night. We got... Oh, okay. We got, um... Down around, like, 10, 15 minutes at 3 o'clock in the morning. With, 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 with chat quiet as a, gr as, a, as a tomb. And Omni Waffle, our friend Omni Waffle... Popped off with a hundred dollars worth of subs just to put a couple hours on the clock and make sure I stood a fighting chance of getting to morning. Um, and and then everybody, from what I'm told, a handful of people realized that they were probably at at the channel the moment the subathon was going to die. And they all joined hands like the band at the, you know, uh, final moments of the Titanic. And Snake Bitten swooped in with 10 gifted and bought me a half an hour to get home. But it also means that I'm on four hours of fractured sleep. I'm having fun. This is a crazy indulgence and I appreciate it. I'm enjoying it. It's goofy and weird and I'll not do it again for a long time. But it, it is fun and goofy and, and liberating and uncomfortable, which is cool. And Justin and I are getting to do some cool stuff and realize that there's some things we might want to do outside of the subathon. I don't know if I'm going to need the money for anything, but I'm not taking I'm not taking either one of those with me over what I've got. It's neat to be able to experiment and not only to experiment and have it like experiment and also have it be uh, financially successful. It's just icing on the cake. If you have that scuppy, I'll be pissed. Okay. Yeah, it's been an awesome indulgence. My favorite bits are watching you, just you and Justin in the kitchen together. I love the interaction and of course the food. I, I I did not realize, I thought I would enjoy being, I thought I'd enjoy cooking in front of people. I did not realize how much I would enjoy cooking in front of people, and especially cooking with Justin. Like, cooking with somebody else doesn't happen very often. Amber sous chefs for me quite a bit, but she doesn't do it because she enjoys cooking. She does it because she wants to eat faster than I'm going to get it on the table. I mean, she does it to be helpful, but she, she does it so that she can eat in a timely manner. Because she knows me, and she knows that I think to myself, Oh, well, this is going to take 45 minutes to pull together. I'll have it on the table by 6 o'clock. That means we're eating it close to 7, and I'm apologizing by 6.35. Baby, I bet you I have it on the table by 6.30 means I'm going to be apologizing by 6.35, and we're eating at 7. Still can't wait for Slice. You're gonna love it as much as we will. I, I'm I'm thrilled. I love the idea. I think Justin and I are gonna be on a team. It's a good way to find out the cooking streams and the hangout streams are a viable option. Yeah, that's a they they will never bring they'll never bring 200 viewers in, 217 viewers in. But then again, nothing else I do at any other time of day, including Isaac. Nothing else I do at any other time of day brings in that many people. So there's no shame in that. But I I will say that I. I I think they are successful enough that I need to start finding places to schedule them in. Well, holy shit, Chimera.
This is where Nose Goblin comes in handy. I guess. One third mother transformation. Art can't be rushed, <laughs> Taffy. Yeah, El Pablo, I feel like every single one I every single recipe I pull is like prep time 20 minutes, cook time 35 minutes. And I'm like, oh I just need an hour, that's great. And then not only is the you know the prep time and cook time wrong individually. I accept that I don't prep very quickly. I cut things very carefully so I don't lose a digit. This is the story of the newest denizen of the cave. Lefty Nim Jim, tier one uh, gifted sub that goes to K Kata 2K. Lefty, thank you so much. Very, very generous. Um, yeah, I, like I acknowledge that I'm a slow prep person, but I'm also being very, very specific with how I move with the knife because I just don't want to lose a fingertip or hurt myself and then not be able to play video games for a couple of days or ever again. But then on top of that, if it's like brown the chicken until cooked all the way through for five minutes, that usually means that, that chicken's going to sit in the pan for 50, 15 minutes, 25 minutes. If I, if I cook, and then on top of that, if I cook things on the recipe as fast as they seem to believe things are supposed to be cooked, I scorch stuff and I burn stuff. Mm. Ugh. Disappointed. Mm. I don't want help. I don't want evil eye. Yeah, I've had a, I've had a. Bleh. I've had a bunch of recipes that are like, brown the chicken for five minutes until cooked all the way through. The chicken's not even changing colors at, color at five minutes, even though I've had the pan at medium heat for 20, getting it warmed up. Oh, I thought that was gonna stop short. I am genuinely of the belief that taking the Book of Rev was the right call. And also the Polaroid for that matter. <gasps> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um. Oh, it used to be Finnegan. Changed it to Lefty. Yo, Finnegan, now Lefty, welcome back. Spectacular. Happy to have you back. Thank you for the sub. Excuse me? Come on, man. Oh, you're gonna make me sit here and hold it? Cool. A lot of variables, electric top uh, and thicker pan, not gonna cook the same thing as a professional pan with a gas stove. Yeah. Yeah, every, every recipe that I cook, I should probably just add an extra half hour to. I wanna do something involved at Justin's place, but like, I want him to let me cook one meat, di meat, meat dish and because he's never had venison, I was looking at this one. Let me see if I can find it. Sorry for anyone who has to pee. Usually I wouldn't engage in this kind of bullshittery because it's three and a half hours long. But if I'm going to be on camera with him, if I'm going to be on camera with him for, uh, if I'm going to be on camera with him for like six or seven. Braised venison roast with carrots and mashed potatoes. Yeah, everybody seems to be really excited about this Lightyear trailer that came out. I have to give it. I have to give it the old looksy do. Uh, 
Well, it's nice that we've got some knockback so that we can hold things in place while we figure stuff out. I have two pounds of venison loin in my freezer that I need to make, but my roommates don't like venison. Gross. Gross roommates, not venison. Venison's delightful when it's cooked right. Go start it up while he's at the gym. He told me I could have, uh, he told me I could have one meat, one meat day. That he would, he would participate in one meat day in the spirit of, that he'd participate in one meat day in the spirit of, uh, cooperation. Well, I tried. Without having max speed, I don't know how you dodge that. fucking corner nobody puts the baby in the corner jesus you menacing bitch lumen and what lingering feel free to die whenever thank god i came in here with an empress card